Hi, there's a lot of people who are trying to make email signatures and then convert them into HTML so you can pull it into your Gmail, your Outlook uh, or any other email provider. Now, a lot of the time, if you're using a desktop application to access your email, such as Outlook 2010, 2016, etc., then a lot of the time the email signatures become a little odd looking and it might not even render properly. And the reason for that, and it sounds mad, but it's because desktop applications, email providers are very dated with their technology. So you will always get a, or always able to get a better looking email signature if you apply the signature directly to the browser signature box rather than the desktop application. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how we're going to split up this email signature and then turn it into HTML. And don't worry, you don't actually need to know how to code because Photoshop, which is what we're going to be editing it in, does it all for you. You just need to be able to download a text editor and do things like that. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, you want to open up your email signature in Photoshop. Once you've done that, you want to head over to the slice tool, click slice. And now you want to, let's zoom in. You want to section every bit, every set, every bit of the email that you want to have cut. So, uh, what I'm going to do, let's do this. So I want this bit to be cut just like so. I want this bit just like so. I want this bit. I also want, I, I want uh, this bit. This bit. Now, you may ask yourself, why am I doing these little sections? Um, and I've done this right here because we're going to be adding links behind this email and behind this URL and behind this number. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. But for now, let's just add this here. And then we're going to be going here as well. And now for each of these little boxes, we're going to be doing one for here, one for here, one for here, one for here. And what I'm going to do, just so you don't get bored, I'm going to quickly skip to the end of this bit so you can get the final result. Okay, so you can now see that every section uh, that I want chopping up or what's not is now been highlighted. So the next step is to click on file, export, save for web. Uh, if you're using older versions of Photoshop, then I believe the save for web will just be shown in the options without needing to go into export. So save for web. And now you can see uh, you've got a little pop-up box right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change, um, I'm going to change this to PNG and you don't need to. It's just, uh, it'll just come out clearer for me. And because this is a, a small file anyway, it doesn't really matter. So now head over to the preview and click preview. You'll see that this has opened up all the code. Now this is all the code that you're going to need. Now you will need something to be able to edit this code in. If you're a fluent coder, then you can have a look in Notepad. If not, then I would recommend using brackets. And I will provide a link in the description. But if you just want to see, just type in brackets. And you'll see it's brackets.io. And then just click download, follow the instructions, and you should have it. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to go into my YouTube description of this video and get this code, which you will be able to find in the link, copy all of it and paste it into your brackets editor. Once you've got that, you want to head over to that Photoshop pop box that happened before and where it says body, you want to scroll all the way down to the closing body there. You want to copy it 
and then you want to paste it in between these two sections. And now you can see that it's that you've got all that code there. If we open it up, actually open this up, you'll see that there's nothing there. It's all broken links. And the reason for that is because, first of all, we've not actually saved the images and we've not connected the images. So that is what we're going to do now. So let's move this over. Let's head back over to Photoshop. And now we're going to save and we're going to find the place where we want to save it at. So let's head over to video signature and I'm just gonna name it one. And then I'm gonna press save. Now, if you've done it correctly, this should have created a images folder. And in that images folder, it should have every single section as an image. So let's look, you can see the images folder, open it up and you can see all the sections here. Now, the next thing you want to do, we've got all this unnecessary code right here and we want to get rid of it. Now, luckily in brackets, uh, there's quick ways of doing this. Okay, so we want to get rid of from this question mark to the last digit right here, but we want to do it on all of them. Now, there is a quicker way to do this, and the best way to do it is by clicking there, where you can see I've done, pressing control, and then clicking on the every bit just before the question mark. But make sure you keep hold of control. And what this is doing is placing a marker from the bit where we want to edit. On every single one. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to press delete on my keyboard or perhaps I'll just highlight it all and press shift and the right arrow on my keyboard. And can you see how all those numbers have now been highlighted? And now I'm going to press backspace and you can see that that's now been deleted, just like so. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to highlight this here, just this one, not the others, and you want to type images slash, and then you just want to select your first picture, like so. And now if we save that, head over to our thing and refresh it, you can see that now the first bit has been replaced with the relevant image. That's great. So now we want to do the same with everything else. However, we, we're gonna use a shortcut to do it now. So highlight all the way up to one, and we're going to press, and we're going to copy that. And now we're going to highlight all the way here up until the underscore, and we're going to press Control H. And now you can see it's been highlighted there. All the others have been highlighted here and you're going to click replace with and you're going to paste in images slash one. And now you're going to click replace all. And you can see that all these images have been replaced. So if we head over to the signature again and refresh, you can see that, wow, it's all there nice and easy. Now the next thing we're going to do, add links to the phone number, to the email and to the URL really really simple okay each one requires a slightly little different thing but um with mobiles on the rise and more people starting to use mobiles for everything then you want potential people to see or contact you as easily as possible just by clicking the number or the email or the website so i'm going to show you how to add a link behind these let's head over back to your form so now we want to find which image we actually want to highlight and this one we want to start off with the phone number so to add a link or call straight away to a phone number what you want to do you want to do an open arrow and then you want to type in a space h ref equals and then quotation marks and then a closing closing arrow and you can see that there's a closing a tag here so you want to delete that just for now and then in these quotation marks you want to type in 
tel, which is short for telephone, as you probably know, colon, and then you want to type in the number uh, that you want, your number. So um, don't put any spaces in it. So let's just type in 01617042132. I don't know, just a random number. Uh, hopefully this isn't anyone's. And then when you get to the end and just after the alt tag or uh, the closing arrow, you want to open another arrow and then slash and then A. And then there you go. So now let's head over to our signature again. And you'll notice that if I hover over the number, nothing happens and keep an eye on the mouse. But if I refresh the page, you can see that now if someone clicks on that, uh, because I'm on a computer, it's saying pick an application, but if it was on the phone, it will go straight to the uh, phone number log. And then you press cancel. And now that's really how to add a phone number. Now let's look for the email link. So here is the email. Now the email is the same code, just slightly tweaked. So again, just before uh, at the very beginning of the image source tag, what you want to do, open bracket, a space h ref equals open quotations and then close that with a closing bracket, delete that a, the closing a tag and head over to the quotations again. And in the quotations, what you want to do, you want to do mail to, and then you want to put info at, oh, at your email.com and then head over to the end and again open arrow and slash and it will automatically complete with the a tag and now let's head over to the signature again if you hover over the email bit nothing but if we refresh you can see that now you've got that so now the final thing before i leave you is the uh, url okay so let's find that one and here it is so once again now this is the exact same code just a tiny bit tweaking so you want to do open arrow a space href equals quotations close that off and delete the closing a tag then you want to type in HTTP. Now, some web websites are HTTP, some are HTTPS. So, but either one will do. Colon slash slash www.yourdomain.com. And then you want to head to the end and close it off with the A tag. And then Let's head over to the signature here. Let's refresh. And now you can see, and if we click it, you can see it's just gone to a random one, but um, there you go. And that's really all there is to creating an email signature. And once you're done, you would simply control A, copy, and then go to email signature and paste it in. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If I've helped, uh, please subscribe, leave a comment, like, all the usual stuff that tells me that you like my content and you'll like me to keep producing this sort of thing. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below and uh, thanks for watching.